free to succeed raid shadow legends my club in the house baby also there's links below i feel like maybe some of you don't know but you can get a mug a free to succeed mug and uh i'm saying mug club and you're feeling excluded so if you are and you want one there should be a shelf there should be a merch shelf below or something uh but yeah there's that Hope everybody had a good weekend. Hopefully you were able to pull some some legendaries that weren't fusions for crying out loud, dude. Uh, absolutely ridiculous. Seemed like everybody was pulling fusions all weekend. Which is suspicious. It has to be suspicious. Everybody's, everybody was doing it. Man, there is some potential in here, huh? I mean, we'll see. Could end up just being nothing, but... <sighs> uh, yeah, I don't really care. I don't think I've ever used that set on purpose. Not a goddamn speed stat on one of them. And I accidentally kept the other one. <laughs> uh, bizarre. I don't think I did enough 3v3 last week to get anything. Which is adorable, dude. It's so cute. It's so cute. I have to keep it because of the speed, but I don't want it. And I want to be real clear about that. I don't want it at all. All right. Uh, what we're going to do is I, I ran some dragon over the weekend and we're going to sift through the gear to see if there's anything worth keeping. And then with the silver we make from that, I'm going to try to level up some of the gear that we were trying to level up for um, for the clan boss team. So, wow, they all had a speed sub, huh? Kind of wild, actually. Uh, crit damage set, there's a crit damage stat, I guess I'll keep it damage and accuracy. I'd really prefer crit rate, but... I have plenty of frost gear. pretty good get this stuff out of here i don't know that i'm gonna have made enough silver to fully do what i need to do here but we're gonna see okay so we have man eater whose gear is ready to go we have a cult brawler i think is one Shoot, now I'm brain farting on, on what exactly we, we did. Where's Painkeeper? Painkeeper's gear should be ready to go. It is. And then we had... Total brain fart here. We six-starred Rector Drath, by the way. I don't know if, if I did that since the last video or not. But she's on her way up now. It has to be people that are six starred. Who else is on my friggin' team, dude? Did I did I I did Narma. Narma's gonna be in there. So Narma, Man Eater, Painkeeper. And then I probably did Rosin. And then I think a Cult Brawler would have been the last one, right? So we needed to get I need to max the boots. No. I needed to glyph the speed because it needs to be 129, correct? Yeah. Yeah. This 
right? All right, so we'll tw I'll, I'll 12 this armor at least for now. See what happens to the speed. Yeah, that was right, right? Maneater, Painkeeper, Narma, Rosin, Occult Brawler. <clears throat> Doesn't really matter what it rolls here either. Did they slow this back down? This feels slower than ever right now. Alright, so speed. 219 on the accuracy. Okay, so let's take these up to 12 also. These I can upgrade as need be. Actually, yeah, let's wait on these. Let's do the, the banner. We need to max the banner. And hopefully don't hit a speed roll on this last roll, which you don't say often. Um, so let's just see. Let's see if we can get lucky here and roll anything else besides speed. Because if we roll speed, we're going to have to change something. But kind of just on principle, I'm doing it. I'm rolling this banner, and it better not roll speed. We all good here? I mean, we're probably gonna be here for a minute, but that's okay. I mean, it better be flat attack. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that, that works too. So, all right, so now we're getting close. Now we can glyph a little bit. Um, so I think HP, I think the HP, he's the stun target. He needs a little more HP than Aimkeeper. And we're not quite there, because she's at, like, 49. 46, okay. So we're, he's almost there. He's almost there, okay. Um, let's do this. I think this should put us over the threshold. And any of these stats would be good to have, so... I guess preferably accuracy or crit rate, but an HP roll, roll wouldn't put us too high, so that would be fine. Defense probably wouldn't be that big of a deal either. I, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not quite done with his masteries yet either. It really feels like they slowed this down, dude. This is going really, really slow. All right, accuracy or crit rate, I think I would prefer here. So what's up? Do it. This right here. Hmm. Bro, I'm about to break out the rivet tuner again. I'm not. This is. Cr I swear to God, it's slower. Because in the stream the other day, someone was like, did they speed up the artifact rolling? And we check it, and it's like, it does feel a little bit faster. This feels like the first draft of it. All right. I think we need a little bit more. So what I'll do is I'll just, I'll just hit it with a glyph. Hit a couple glyphs here. We'll do that, and we'll do...
that. Wait, and that. It max rolls that, dude. Alright, and then the speed, we need one more, so we'll just hit this with a one. Alright, and then his masteries. Oh, cool! I'm so glad that you lag all the time so that I double click spaces and do shit like that. That's fun. I love that so much. Um, so we can go ahead and give him this, this, this. I think I want to give him that for the potential for this, but whatever. And then here he can have. Yeah, thanks. That, and then we're just gonna do the standard down to Warm Master. Okay. I I believe then that everyone's set up, so I believe I believe we're good for our first test here. I believe it. In my heart of hearts. So, let's take a look at the setup here. Maneater A3. And Painkeeper A1, A2, A1, Auto. And then I guess everybody else just A1s or, or does whatever through that, okay. Hoping I'm reading that right anyway. I did not think much about his defense, but it should be low. We'll see if it's lower. Oh, cool. Cool. The wave step crash. I'm so glad that's still in the game, dude. I'm so glad that's still in the game, bro. At least it didn't cost me a key this time. It used to cost a key, which was super dope. Super duper dope, dude. I don't think it cost me a key anyway. Oh, cool. I'm, I'm glad that you get another opportunity to show me these pop ups. Just in case, you know. Won't start on auto. Yeah, I know. Okay, so man eater, A3, and keeper, A1. And why don't we? I will. I will go in and, and program them so that like she won't use her A2 and stuff. But uh, for now, I just want to see if we can get it working. A2. At no point do I A3 with Painkeeper in this setup. That seems strange. Now I'm supposedly can hit auto. That can't be right. Okay, I have to be reading that wrong. That doesn't make any sense. I, I, I don't know that I've ever seen a setup where you don't A3 with Painkeeper at some point. UNM rotation. Main Eater A3, Painkeeper A1, A2, A1 auto. That's definitely not working now. So wait, if I just close the game, 
I won't, it won't charge me a key. Is that how that works? I hope. I've never seen a setup. I might have to watch the video on this actually and see how he's setting it up. make sure too i feel like his cooldown seems long I'm, I'm pretty sure i'd skilled him up but i guess it's possible i have not okay that makes sense i would have i would have lost so much money betting that i had skilled him up dude i would have lost so much money betting that i had done this already it was just it was just a done deal in my head let's try it again like this and see if that does it i'd love it if you just go to the a3 bro please do this for me there you go Okay, I guess I need to check Painkeeper too. But again, I feel really sure. I haven't booked her either, bro. What is wrong with me? I swear I've done it, dude. <gasps> All right, two more, one more. I noticed his when I when I when I first did his A3, I was like, that cooldown looks longer than than I recall. Alright, didn't lose a key, that's fine. I'm gonna check this notification now because I'm curious. Nope. I want some new I want some news about AMC going up. You understand what I'm saying? I'm ready for AMC to be going up. All right, he was going after Maneater. That's not good. But we'll try it again anyway. <laughs> All right, so Maneater A3. Painkeeper A1. for some reason. <laughs> A1 auto. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. I'm, it, he, he went after Narma for the stun on that one, so we, we may end up needing some tweaking there. Let's check this out. HP of the stun target should be the highest as a team, but not more than 125% of pain keepers. Pain keepers should be second highest. I'm pretty sure that's all correct right now. That's all true. Stun target's defense should be as low as possible. Okay, that's something I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll need to go take a look at. Okay, it's not working, <laughs> clearly. out i don't want to lose my key on that um hmm. this episode's already long so we're gonna call it here i'm going to 
read it. I'm going to look into this a little bit. I'm going to check out everybody's stats and see. Uh, I'll try not to make any adjustments until tomorrow's video so that we can make the adjustments together. Because, the, again, the point of this is for you to get to see the whole process. Um, recently used first. Oh, I guess it doesn't count as them being used. I mean, his defense is so low already. 1,600. I mean, way more. Way, way more. Way more. She needs more defense. She needs way more defense. Okay, that's something to consider. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can't do about her defense situation. Glyph up everything we can. Get her defense higher. May even... Hmm. Yeah, we may have to get, put like a defense amulet here or something, even. Yeah, may have to do that. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll play around with it some more tomorrow. This is it. This is part of the process. Hope you guys are getting something out of it. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm sure some of you will leave me some tips in the comments, so we'll check those out too. Uh, have a good one. I'll see you in the stream if you want to come hang out.